So it's going to kind of be hard to do video of six kittens because they're all over the place, especially without any help. But I'll start with this guy. This is the only boy. These are Patricia's kittens. Patricia is, uh, actually she probably looks the most like him. She's a gray, gray tuxedo. So she's got the gray with the white stomach. But this is her only boy, and this is Candy Cane. <laughs> he probably wants to go. So he's long hair. We got three long hairs and three and two short hairs but one of the long hairs that one there that's not her kitten <laughs> this one's probably the shyest that's a long haired tortoise shell she was a little orphan and patricia took her in but she took her in when she was very young so her name is sugar plum so that's sugar plum bless you bless you are you playing and then we have the muted calicos um, two of them are short hair, and then two are long hair. So this one with the peach face is, oh, she didn't write, okay, wait. The short hair with the peach face is, um, oh my gosh, I can't, okay, fruitcake. Where'd you go? <laughs> figure out what your name was. Somebody rewrote my list, so I'm having a hard I'm just having to transcribe it. Okay. So fruitcake. Is you fruitcake? Which one's you? Which one are you? No, that's not fruitcake. This one's got more of a white face. So this one is sugar cookie. So that's see that's how I can tell the difference. This one's got more like see white on the face. So that's sugar cookie. And then that's fruitcake. She's kind of the wildest. So I call her a little fruit cake. That's fruit cake on the left. And then with the long hairs, we have gingerbread, who's under there. She's a little shy, as you can tell. And then we have um, eggnog. So these two are gingerbread and eggnog, are both the long hairs. She's got more white on her face, and you can see she's got more peach. But you know what? They're not used to being in this room. They're used to, they've been in a cage. They're about nine weeks old, and they've been in, they were born here. The mother came in pregnant. I'll put a picture of her at the end. The mother came in pregnant, and the very next day, she had, um, she had, she had, um, the kittens. So they've been here in a cage for all this time. This is, like, only the second time they've been loose, like, in a big room. <laughs> so this one, really, even though she's really shy, she loves to really play. So that would be a good way to bond with her, get her some... Uh, some nice toys and <laughs> yes and he's kind of the crybaby it figures the boy is the crybaby yes you're the crybaby so he's beautiful isn't he so like I said he's the boy I'm not going to try and remember their names again right in a second just bear with me and then these are the three long hairs and then the two short hairs are so you got four four muted calicos I mean yeah yeah four muted calicos too short too long one tortoise shell, long, and then you got this guy. <laughs> she really likes to play. Because <laughs> she's like the shyest one with, they're all really friendly when they're in their cage, and then sometimes we let them loose in the little bathroom. They're fine, but they're just a little bit afraid <laughs> of the, um, this big room. Which one are you? Oh, this is the short hair, I, I would say the two short hair ones are the friendliest, but you know, once they get into your home and you play with them and you bond with them, they're all going to be super sweet because they've been handled by people since they were um, since they were born. So they're used to being around people. They're just like I said, it's just the environment. So look at them. <laughs> look how cute! Yes, and you're cute too. Hi. And then you guys are aren't they gorgeous kittens? So they're not going to be here long. So. Please apply. I'm going to try and get this one under. you got to come out of there. You can't be stuck under there. Come here. Come here. Let's see if I can get this one out so you can see her. Come here, sweetie. Come here. they got to see you, too. See how pretty you are. Aww. Maybe you want to adopt her with one of her, her sisters. Yeah. I think she's going to be... Oh, look how cute she is. Oh, and like I said, that's the only walk. Yeah, this is getting really long. It's almost five minutes. But, um, hello. They're just, yeah, she's probably, I guess she's the shyest. I thought this one was the shyest, but the toys have really brought her out. 
Anyway, it doesn't really matter who's shy and who's not. Once they get into your home and get used to um, you and playing and they settle in, um, you know, like we always say when you first adopt a kitten or a cat, just to put them in a room with all their things, with the doors shut, because if you set them free in a whole house, you're just going to run somewhere and hide. Then you won't be able to monitor what they're doing. So make sure you put them in a room, especially since they're not really used to being, they just, they've been in a cage nonstop for nine weeks. So, okay, I'm rambling on. Thank you for listening to all my rambles and, look at all the, and looking at all this cuteness. Okay, pick one. Bye.